What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. Earlier today, Elgu Mars just absolutely made a huge announcement related to their upcoming Saturn Resin 3 printer. This is their newer follow-up to the Elgu Mars and it's a larger format Resin 3D printer. Uh, previously, I did an initial look at this where they sent me a, a beta unit that they were screening with a handful of folks to get some initial input before they actually do their full production run and bring it to market. So pricing was sort of no one was sort of up in the air. Release date was a bit up in the air as well. Well, today, well, it was probably yesterday if you guys are watching this on Friday, they announced the price point and more specifically, they announced that there is a huge upgrade with a mono screen for this resin 3D printer. That is crazy. This unit that they sent me originally, it just has your standard uh, LCD display there that you're gonna use that you see on most resin 3D printers and it works great. And I was able to get some really great prints off of that. By the way, if you haven't already seen that video, I'll have a link here where you can check that out or down below where you can go and find that video and see my full in-depth unboxing as well as an initial look at a few of those prints. But what's really crazy about this is the standard default option that they're gonna be running with their upcoming machine is that mono display. What that means is that you're gonna have a longer lifespan for that screen and faster print times. It's crazy exciting that they're doing that right off the bat with this initial run of their newest machine. I mean, last year, to me, maybe maybe it was just me, I don't know, but the Mars like just dominated everything last summer leading up through the end of the year. Again, maybe it was just me. I was fully head over heels in love with the Elgu Mars and printing with it nonstop. And I honestly think this is gonna be the next big wave for them, especially with that mono screen. I mean, and not only that, but the price point, it's under a thousand dollars, which is just ridiculous. For a printer this size with a build volume as large as it has, and under a thousand dollars. And not only that, I mean, they, the introductory sort of early bird pricing is 400 bucks plus shipping for the first 200 people. Correction, it was 300 for the early bird and for those first 200 people that buy the machine, it's 300 bucks plus shipping. Then it's gonna be $400 for the next 800 people after that. So it's an initial pre-order run for this unit before it's officially available. I'm assuming that the standard price point is gonna be around 500 bucks if they're offering it at this lower price point here to get things rolling. But there is just a huge amount of excitement online for this. It's, it's a new wave of larger machines, resin machines at a lower price point and more specifically, having that mono screen. Again, this isn't an upgrade. This is the default option that's gonna be offered with that unit, at least what it sounds like now, is that mono screen. It's just insane. This is so friggin' cool. Not only that, but Epax has a new resin 3D printer that they're gonna be offering with a mono screen. They also have an X10 upgrade for theirs that has a screen for that. Uh, Piopoli has their Noir, so if you're looking for a much larger resin 3D printer with a mono screen, Piopoli has that. Frozen Transform also now has a screen display upgrade for their Transform, and Frozen also has the Sonic Mini, which I've done a video on, and I absolutely love printing with that really little resin 3D printer because it prints so fast. And funny enough, while I was just editing this video, I saw an update from Anycubic that they, I've also just announced a new resin 3D printer that's gonna be sporting a mono display. It looks like it might be slightly smaller than the Saturn and is also only 2K versus 4K, which the Saturn will be sporting here. So a little bit lower in terms of resolution, but still great to see that they're jumping on with this technology upgrade for uh, their upcoming resin 3D printer. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering why I have a bottle of <laughs> Everclear here sitting on the table, I was not intending on recording this video right now. I was working on another video talking about additional resin cleanup alternatives uh, versus Mean Green and some other things, and one of the big popular ones here is Everclear, so very excited to test this out and show that with you guys. Stay tuned, hopefully have that video for you already on Saturday. Well, we'll see, Saturday or Sunday. But one other print that I wanted to show you that I've done since initially running this is this Sonic bust statue by Inspiree 3D. It's part of his Patreon. If you're interested in printing one of these for yourself, 
It's an awesome file. My kid is so excited that I'm continuing to work on this. I've just been sanding away at it, trying to get it super smooth and uh, really lightly. It's like a thousand grit sandpaper here. So really minimal cleanup and then it's about to just be painted and it's just me getting off my rear end and painting this for him. But if you're interested in the file or more information about the Elgoo, I'll have links down below to that as well. Also in the upcoming days, I'll be getting my hands on with the new Saturn. And I'll be again doing a full unboxing and doing some prints with you guys and more than likely doing a direct comparison between the initial unit and the new one here, because I honestly don't know besides the screen, what else has really changed on it. I don't know if they've changed, changed or modified the build plate or fans or anything like that. The touchscreen interface, no idea, but it'd be interesting to see that. Again, just wanted to call this out for anybody that didn't already hear the information. And if you're interested in pre-ordering this unit, make sure to check out the links down below on June 6th. Mark that in your calendars. I think it's 10 a.m. Eastern is when it goes on sale. This is the new wave, people. This is gonna be crazy cool. Gotta go fast. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.